Well, hello, internet people. Today, I'm going to show you how to save seeds from marigolds. So, you, I have, I think, four plants of marigolds here. And I don't know what the specific varieties are. And for me, that doesn't really matter. If it matters for you, then make sure that you, you know, clearly label what your flowers are. And then that way, you know, you, you won't, you know, be going, oh, what is that? What is that? So what you do is this is a spent flower. And then what I do is I simply pull the petals off and discard them. We don't need those. I'm going to get all those off. And there are seeds. So give it a twist, get rid of the petal, open it up, and those are all marigold seeds. And then I'll put them in here, take them in the house, and I have some on a tray that I'm already drying. So take all the petals off, give them a good twist, and I like to hold on to here and try to get those petals out of there because it's just basically chaff you don't need it and see how they start to come out and I just get my dug and then I do open it up because there's always some difficult ones that don't really want to come out and then these I put them out on a tray on top of um, paper towels let them dry for I let them go several days oh see that one was really dry and so all the stuff already came out of it all the seeds I let them dry for several days before I package them up and then when I do package them up I package them up into paper envelopes that way if there is any moisture in there whatsoever the paper will absorb it and I won't have moldy seeds. That might get a little bit of petal in there. And I try to keep the petals out as much as I possibly can because it just it, it makes them neater. And then if I want to trade seeds. Oh, we got fighting geese show you that real quick it's like all the other ones go around the pool and uh, it's like at the at the cage fights or something <laughs> oh and then and then Bob brought in some calendula so I will show you how to go through that as soon as I am done here scrape out all of the seeds and you can tell because there's these long half like half white half black and then there you go and then right here is the calendula and basically you let the flowers dry and some of these are seeds and some of these are not seeds so what I do is I tend to just let this whole thing dry like that. And then when I plant them out, like this is a seed right here. Seed. This is not a seed. See the difference? Get these up here. This is not a seed. This is a seed. So the seeds are kind of spiky-ish. And you just kind of have to go through that. Which I will do that after I'm done with these marigolds. I want to continue on with these. I want to show you how many I get. So what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and pause this. And I will bring you back and show you exactly how many marigold seeds we got from this little bit of flower heads. Okay, this is how many seeds we got from just a, a, a relatively a few blossoms. I'm going to separate these out here. 
So, I mean, just a couple of blooms, and you will have more than enough marigold seeds to plant the following year. Those are ready to go in. Now, these are zinnias I showed you on the calendulas. Now, on the zinnias, you can see from in the middle of the flower, you can see the seeds right there. So we just pull those out. Basically, as simple as doing the marigolds. And I will have these beautiful... See, they're stuck in there in the spent center of the flower. And I will have some of these beautiful purple zinnias for next year. I will have to clean out the chaff on these that will be a little more involved. But basically this zinnia seeds just kind of come right out. Let me see if I can dial this in. Hey, Bob, can you take a look at that? Rose. That's all of the zinnia seeds there. Then we will take these petals off. And then right here and here, see all the seeds? So many seeds. Sorry for yelling, but... I don't know what those geese are doing over there. And I'm not going to be able to stay out very much longer. Because it looks like it's getting smoky. Tis the season for wildfires here in western Washington State. And even with having emphysema, I still push my luck because I can't stand to be stuck inside day after day after day. So I just go through until there are no more seeds in there. And they're all in here. So let's do this one more time. Pull off the petals, discard them. And then you just kind of go in here. You will find seeds. Oops. Kind of flung those all over. No matter though, I've got a t literal ton of zinnias on that plant. Hey, get out of my garden! Bob? So I'm back with one more zinnia here. Now I do have, I will have to clean out the chaff of these. But see all those seeds right there? All of these are seeds. But, you know, with me, and since it's just for me, I'll plant them with the chaff. I don't care. And I don't think it's going to hurt anything to do it that way. But if you go like this. Nope, it doesn't work. <laughs> I just made a mess with the seeds. I thought, well, maybe the window get rid of the chaff. Yeah, it also gets rid of the seeds. So I can see where these could be a bit of a bugger to uh, clean out. And they do, those seeds, they hide in there too. But anyway, so there are zinnia seeds. which this is really cool.
on that is how you save seeds.